Thank you for joining in today's Connection Point Devotional Thought of the Day. That's right, you heard it correctly, Devotional Thought of the Day. This is episode number one. And just to give you a quick understanding of what I would like to try to do with these Devotional Thoughts of the Day, whether it's a daily or several times a week, it's simply that, just to share a quick Devotional Thought of the Day. Just to share what the Lord spoke to me during my quiet time and my devotions. It may be a verse, it may be an insight from the word or just a devotional message to share with you and I know we all have limited time so my goal is to keep these uh, brief and straight to the point uh, in these quick devotional messages I hope to encourage you to challenge you and to exhort you in the Lord so now that you have an idea what these devotional thought of the day episodes will be let's start off by something that spoke to me today In this morning's quiet time, I came across a verse that came up actually several times throughout today uh, from my devotional time. Then I had a separate conversation with an individual and this verse popped up again. And I was reading some articles uh, throughout the the day and this verse popped up again. And then I was hearing a testimony uh, from someone and again, this verse popped up. And so I thought this is a great reminder for us. And it's simply this, there is no fear and love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. And that's from 1 John 4.18. 1 John 4.18. So here's what I was thinking. When I live in God's grace and his love, and when I'm abiding in him, I know that nothing I can do will separate me from him, just as it says in Romans chapter 8. I know others' rejection of me doesn't matter because the Lord will never reject me. As the scripture says, he'll never leave me nor forsake me. And to that I say, hallelujah. Now, living in his love means I can walk forward without fear because I know that even in my difficulties, in my trials, in my uh, discomfort or tragedy or whatever I go through or whatever lies ahead, he will be with me. I can trust him and I have nothing to fear. Living in fear is just plain miserable. It's uncomfortable. You lack peace and joy. Living in fear brings worry and anxiety. Living in fear is stressful. The trials that I may go through are not punishment, but it's an opportunity for me to grow in his grace and his love even more. It's an opportunity to mature in my walk and my relationship with him. And I know that his presence is always with me. And to that, I take great comfort. Living and walking in his love means that I can love others, even if they don't return or reciprocate that love, because the love that Christ gives me is sufficient and complete and unconditional and I'm very secure and confident in my relationship with the Lord and I have nothing to fear in this life now I don't know about you but I take great comfort in this fact so my friends remember this as the Bible says in 1 John 4.18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love, and that perfect love is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. I pray you fill them with your spirit. I pray that you lead them, guide them, direct them, give them wisdom, give them the discernment that they need, the understanding, the patience they need. May they keep their eyes fixed upon you as the author and finisher of their faith. Whatever fear that uh, they may have, that they can trust you, they can rely upon you and cast a care upon you because you care for them. And as your word says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known to you. So Lord, that's simply what we're doing right now. All our fears, all our worries, anxieties, we lay them at your feet and we ask for your peace that passes all understanding that will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So I thank you for my brothers and sisters here in Jesus' name. Amen.